of MSM 172. So At, how excited are you? Are you I'm here? excited. Um, I don't go to MSMs anymore, so it's really exciting to be here. Why do you and hate see, us at MSM? I do not hate you guys. I just moved back to NorCal. Um, there's a lot of people here. Uh, there's like 200, what, 150 entrants? I think it was about 160, 170, yeah. which is actually less than what we normally have. Our uh, average attendance has been in the 200s yeah. for the last couple weeks. But wow, such, still, still a lot of uh, great turnout. Yeah, it is. Um, so we're starting out with Nitro and Paper on. Okay, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not commentating. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was I was actually ready. I was like, you know what? He's, he's good. I was ready. Yeah, yeah, we, were, we, were, we were fine. I'll another rock. I, I, yeah, she was doing good. I don't man, know. What are you doing? Get up. Sit sitting there. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, man. I, I don't know. She was doing fine. And then she got stage fright. I'm so sorry. Yeah, she was doing good. You know, I bet. I bet she was just wondering, like, when. Oh, we're gonna Yeah, right. <laughs> Comes home to the criticism, right? Like, so you see how she did? See, I wouldn't do that. I definitely wouldn't do that. <laughs> but you know what? We have coming up. We're in first set of winner semis. Nitro versus Paper. Yep. Nitro has been making a lot of moves with his Simon Belmont. Yep. Uh, for those of you guys wondering, this isn't Simon Belmont. This is Victor Belmont. Of course. Oh, that direct is descendant. They just have a. Hey, so we have to just gift that kind of stuff. Yo, oh, I'm thank you so much, Jennifer, for gifting us the 10 subs, man. It's a sub hype. And oh, if anybody knows, yeah, if anybody knows about hype, man himself, Z Fly. Oh, that's all the hype right there. Looks like this, this uh, Richter gets the hype all over the paper. Good whip action. Oh my god, that shield was so close to breaking. Yeah, it was. He was actually. I feel like he was actually just a hair off from getting the sweet spot. It actually would have broken down the sweet spot. Of course, the whip does have timber in effect. So if you are able to get the timber there, it does a little bit more damage as well. Now, what I can say from paper is that you're making great use of the bucket whenever uh, Nitro throws out the big rock. It just yeah. bounces right back, even though it's visible. Exactly right. That's kind of one of those deals that you want to use as, as I'm sorry, Mr. Gaming Watch right there because you are able to just send back across. You're not able to absorb it because the way that the game registers the hit is it's more of an item rather than a projectile. Right. So, of course, the bucket only absorbs projectile. The one thing to notice, though, it will not absorb the holy water that Richter has. It'll only do it if the flame is active. So oh. that's that's important to know there for Orochi Okay, okay. Well, we see a Lair landing for Paper. Now with Orochi players, oh my god. Nitro trying to get that one hit that's going to lead into a uh, conversion. Uh, okay. Fishing with those up airs. Okay, look what like, look, look, Paper didn't like the holy water there, just decided to get away. I mean, right. whenever you're going up against uh, Nitro and he's going out the holy water, you know he's trying to set up for like an Epsil or an Epsil. Yeah. So don't even try and throw out the bucket because you're not, you're not going to be able to absorb them. Yeah. Yeah. And it's too much of a risk at that point, right, to absorb the, the actual flames. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, oh, Nitro sitting himself back at the corner there, sends in the holy water just to cover the landing here, able to come back with that forward air. Of course, forward air and all the, um, sorry, all the aerials that, except down air, of course, allow uh, Richter to actually make the recovery there with the tether. Back throw, sets up the axe here, not able to get much, but he manages to hail up 34%. I'm needy, but that down air will take it. Right, Game of Watches have been recovering with that down air for years, and so it's ingrained in every uh, Game & Watch game out there. You gotta be careful, because that's, that's a staple recovery for, for paper. Yeah. Alright, sets up the Holy Water there, he goes for Forward Smash. That's gonna be a Lyman Tamer kind of move there. I like the way he's angling these aerials, because they do send you at different trajectories the way you angle them there. So the way that he's doing that directionally down at the downward 45 degree angle sends Game & Watch uh, at a different trajectory there, so I like how he's using that a lot. Trying to cross up with the death attack, but it was very good. Now we see the down, two down tilts, both connecting to Nitro. Now two down airs connected for paper. Oh, nice. Another angle down air. Oh, sorry, board air. Take this. The Holy Water Ooh. does get one charge of the bucket. And uh, Nitro was ready for the punish because he knew the bucket was coming. Just did not face it correctly. Yeah. The way that you're seeing Nitro use the cross is very smart because he throws it at the opposite direction there because he knows the cross has a great range to actually be able to come back. It's either a combo breaker tool or a possible setup for another combo here. See how he tosses it high up there? He knows it's going to come back, covers that area of the ground, and the holy water to the forward smash. Great play from Nitro. Right. And only taking 15% on the second slot. That's a huge lead. Um, of course, every character has the same damage output in this game, so it doesn't take too much to get the ball going for paper. But at the same time, you still have to get through this wall of whips, holy fire, and axes. 
Oh, only gonna be the freeze one. So beautiful. That would have been a nine of a paper. Still made the risk for it. And a couple down here looking for the true combo there. People have been talking about on Twitter how that down air to down air to down air may be one of those killers. But paper was a combo breaker. A lot of players still have trouble just being aware of a paper. Uh, Game of Watch's upbeat is how it has defensibility. Yeah. It's really useful to actually try and punch that. Okay, uses the B instead of the up air. Of course, up air will work from the bottom of the stage. I like how he's still angling these forward airs, though. Sets up the cross there from the opposite direction. Comes back towards, not gonna find a hit, though. At this point, Nitro doesn't have to really work much for neutral here. He immediately just spaces out that forward air. Sends out the cross there. Another cross again. So that was the axe. This is gonna be a re grab. But avoiding it. There it is. Holy fire into the F stash. Beautiful item play. We kind of saw Nitro cycling through each one of the projectiles, right? Trying to keep the guessing game going on with Paper. And at that situation, right, he was finally able to get the forward smash because he set up the holy, the holy water there. That's right. As soon as Paper dropped off the ledge, he wasn't going to have many options at his disposal to escape that ledge pressure because you need that invincibility. You need those options, uh, especially with... <laughs> characters pretty much throwing everything but the kitchen sink at you. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's that's right. You know, when you come down to those rules there, you think about what are the rules that Richter does, right? He's going to be throwing the axe, which covers my jump recovery. He's going to be th tossing up the holy the holy water. They can either cover my rules or even see my rules. And then he throws out the axe, I'm sorry, the cross, because if I jump away, I'm going to get hit by the cross. So I have to really evaluate what is my best option. Sometimes holding onto the ledge might feel safe, but in reality, you're going to lose invincibility over time. That's right. The clock is ticking. I, I, I did not lose that character. I was going to say, like, oh, Paper. I, I, I've never seen Paper pick another character <laughs> other than Game & Watch. Funny, funny enough, Paper and I remember each other because he was the first ca uh, player ever commentated back in the day. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> So me and him have a little bit of shared history, but let's go back into it though. Nitro versus Paper. This is the Inland Empire Invasion coming out here. Of course, they have knocked out quite a few players to make it onto this top spot. For those of you guys wondering, the Inland Empire is located an hour away from this venue, so they made quite the trek to come out here. Of course, getting nothing short of the places as they are now. Downplayed. See how he tossed out that. See exactly. See, Paper knew that cross is coming back. Gotta get away. Because he knows. Nitro throws it away, but it's gonna come back towards me. Sets up the forward air there coming off from Game and Watch, but Nitro still able to recover, setting up an axe here. That's a high recovery for Nitro. Yeah, you notice Paper's actually been using the forward air to help himself recover. He'll actually explode himself. Sort of how like Snake would. Yeah. And then send to launch him close to the. To the ledge. Okay, we're getting caught in that. We fire once again. Holy Fire to SMS seems to be one of Nitro's favorite setups. Yeah, I, it's a it's a pretty good setup too, and it can kill out early percents depending on the stage. One of the things that I felt that Paper should have been looking for is to wait a little bit. He would covered with neutral getup, but he didn't have to really. He could just wait a little bit longer because he didn't go for any other item. Right, well, he's continuing to see that same setup from Nitro over and over and over. It's the Holy Fire into SMS or Epto, depending on how much time uh, he's going to have. But the down smash connecting for Paper! Putting himself on the board. Alright, he's recovered a little low. See, at that situation, didn't go for any other item. Of course, just had to let go of the ledge. Figure out a different opportunity here. You know Nitro's keeping, uh, oh, no. he's keeping in mind what these options that Paper is going to be picking because Paper is not the type of player that makes that same choice twice. Slowly going to be eliminated. Uh, Paper is close at the ledge. Alright, there's Rapid Jab. Not going to do much. 12% here and tosses in the Holy Water. Tries to go for a force smash. Not going to be doing much here. Up tilt's pretty good. Solid hitbox. Nicely disjointed. It's got some great range. Using on the platform. Like it. Paper able to land with the neutral air into a grab. Another neutral paper. Finally able to go in, but Nitro able to come back down with the neutral air into the up air. So he's attacking on the forward air. That's smart stuff for paper. Bringing out the bucket. Reflecting the axe right back. Uh, oh no. But not a good look for paper. Holy fire. To yeah, I mean, at that point, I felt that Paper has kind of been filled the wrath of that combo coming over from Nitro, and I feel like maybe he should stay a little bit calm. It kind of feels counterintuitive, right, because you do have a character that's, like you said, tossing everything but the kitchen sink, but sometimes standing a little bit back and seeing this pattern that Nitro has set up for himself may be the key to victory for Paper. It's, just, it's so hard when a character with so much range because you don't want to give them the full stage. Yeah. And, like, let them set up their trap. But at the same time, rushing in without a game plan, that's, that's maybe, in fact, a worse, a 
worst game plan. Yeah. I know game plan is no. the worst game plan of all. Exactly. <laughs> what? Blind exactly. But I do want to say, like, one thing we've been seeing from Nitro, he's the ghost for Holy Water sometimes, but he doesn't go for any other item. Of course, I'm calling them items because they are projectiles, but in the perspective game of Castlevania, they are considered items. Um, so I want to I want to see if Paper's going to adapt a little bit more here. Able to get a cross up, not going to find much. Of course, going around Nitro instead. Right. And Paper using the special platform to just. Uh, run right over Nitro. Now the damage has been done for Nitro of the paper. All right, down throw into Neutra. I like it. Nitro's starting off with a solid percent here. Keeping, I'm sorry, Paper is starting off with a solid percent early on here and eject those Cedos out of that situation. Okay, I like the recovery coming out from Paper. He's using the up B a little bit more, extending the the distance between him and Nitro, and even dropping back with the back air, but Nitro ready with attack. Take this! Oh man, you gotta watch out for that range, that forest smash. Each time you see Richter or Simon pull it off, they take a step in that causes that range to be so long. Great. Oh, I lost the word for that, man. I'm sorry. It's gonna be a great parry. Alright, well. Ooh, Ooh. Smashes flanking for each other, and now we see all these big ass smashes coming out from Nitro. He's trying to get rid of that stock as soon as he can. It looks like Paper actually had the correct read with the, the tether, but his own neutral B messed him up. I like it. Goes for the up smash, but up you had a shield coming out from Nitro, tosses in more axes. And the angle forward are coming out yet again. Paper a little bit too aggressive there at the ledge. Well, not really much aggression, but I kind of want to say, like, you should have looked to pull back and see what Nitro was going for, because he was doing that a lot. Another confirm from the off Holy Water. And right now, all the momentum is in Nitro's favor. As as uh, he takes paper stock and then adds on 57% on top of it. A good use of the up B just to escape that situation, get away from the uh, Holy Cross and protect a little damage on the Nitro. Dropping down with the down air, paper evening up the stock, but not before taking 34%. Yeah, he's got some percent onto himself, but finally able to come in with that back air. Another up B into Nutra. I'm gonna miss the Nutra art though. One thing that Paper is kind of doing is he's kind of trying to stay close a little bit towards Nitro. In this situation, starting off really well though. I like the chase with no tech chase. Oh, but the double down tilt connecting and now forcing Paper into the recovery situation. Holy Cross connecting now with 113% onto Paper. You know Nitro's looking for a kill. Oh, that's a forward tilt. Of course, forward tilt's kind of not that fast as what it seems. It's only frame 12, but it comes up so... The second, I'm sorry, the pullback animation from the forward tilt's pretty, pretty fast. The yeah. initial startup. Even these f tilts come out super quick. But again, Paper using the, the bomb to just push himself forward a little bit. Just adjusting how he's oh. gonna recover. The f tilt not taking the stock just yet. Go oh. get up from Paper. Guy who's super risky. Oh no, and he angles the forward smash because he knows he touched the legend again and doesn't get invincibility the second time around. That's right. Paper had actually used that exact recovery uh, when they were on the right side of the stage. Ooh. Like, ooh, down. They not gonna really get that. Alright, clutch time for Paper. Take this! Right, Nitro again, chucking the item, telling him to take this. <laughs> He's taking a lot of it, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, take this, take that, take everything. Okay, like, goes in with dash attack, spaces take that forward to that, and that shield able to stop the holy water. It's so hard for Paper to get in because uh, Nitro's has been spacing out these forwarders so nicely. Not only the forward. Oh, there's the berry, but not much. Not only, yeah, really good berry. Now we're even leading to a down throw. Whoa! The dive kick beat the up air? That's crazy. Oh, missing the forward smash. Yeah, good mash coming out from Nitro. Keeping himself in the game. That could have been bad news for Nitro. Take this. Now getting trapped at the ledge again. I like it. Goes for the high recovery. Comes back to the ledge. Scary stuff for, for Paper, though. This is the same situation he's been a couple times now. Able to finally land. Gets an up B in the 2-2. Two, two. Not going to feel it. Finish it off just yet. What a crazy option that was for Paper. He landed inside Nitro and then immediately used up yes. B. But wow, the drop Ooh. down up air from the platform was enough to take out Paper's last stock. Man, oh man, that was some stuff, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Like, he immediately knew that he started running away. Like, you were saying it yourself, right? He came into the same zone and immediately go for up B just to get out. And then at that situation, like, Paper kind of, I'm sorry, Nitro kind of knew, like, hey, there's only one spot he's gonna try to go for again. That's the yeah. up B. And of course, wow. uh, up air does have a sweet spot. Of course, all of the uh, all of the whip has sweet spots. So you have to really watch out for that one. Wow. Well, good stuff to Nitro advancing to winners finals. Yeah.
Great stuff, man. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, this is the Inland Empire invasion. They're coming out here. Knocked off the uh, the current man of the throne, Nico, into losers. They oh, knocked out Arrow.